Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for the latest in reality TV, influencer T pop culture, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd be super, super grateful. You guys, we need to talk because Gabby, Gabby Hilton, Bitch, I would just called her Gabby Hilton. I just did a Kathy Hilton video right before this. So that's why I think I was saying Gabby Hilton. But anyways, Gabby Hanna has um, officially said goodbye for a while on social media. Now, this is the second video I've done of this because she said goodbye last week or a couple days ago. And then the next day she had like 20, 24 new TikToks. So this time it seems a little more serious. She did open up in her Twitter on her comment section. So I'm gonna read you guys what she said um, as her like goodbye for now, and uh, we'll talk afterwards. So she says, my real addiction is social media and it's the hardest for me to break. Weed is easy. Since I was a kid, I've turned to the internet to feel like I existed. I feel pretty alone in the world. I've just never quite fit in or belonged anywhere. It's always felt it it's always felt like i could easily disappear i know people love me i'm so lucky to have some real pure-hearted people in my life but i've always felt disconnected from everyone else most of my life i've had pretty low self-esteem social media is the ultimate drug for someone craving love i've always felt like my death would benefit the world more than my life the only thing keeping me alive was the idea i could leave the world better that I then I found it. Social media is a toxic relation I relationship I keep running back to because as much as it hurts, it's all I have sometimes. All I've ever wanted was to belong and to be able to help others feel good too. I feel like I feel glad that my struggles have helped others feel understood. In the past couple of weeks I've deleted and re-downloaded my social media apps more times than I can count. I'm an addict and I need to help myself. It's a confusing drug of this modern world because it's also necessary if you want to share your art, music, business. It's like telling an alcoholic they have to drink to be successful. But I really want to be free. It's just hard because I do feel so alone. That's really hard to admit. It's embarrassing. Every time I take a break, I feel better when I come back because I feel like I have I have to be succeed. I have to succeed or exist, it's like a hit of heroin all day. Before, when I would take a week or two off, I'd at least have weed to keep me occupied, to keep me busy, to keep me company. But I need to be sober of everything for at least a little. And that's really, really scary. I feel sad and afraid, but excited and hopeful. So I guess this is me trying to say goodbye for a while again. I know I have the strength to be comfortable sober, to be comfortable alone. I'll be back. It won't be too long. My wish is to come back with intention, with clarity, with leave, and with boundaries. Um, listen, if this is real, I'm very proud of Gabby because obviously there is an issue there. There is obviously a, a, a situation there that she really needs to... to, to um, to heal from and i do understand what she means about social media obviously i have not been on like as much as she has or i've ne i have i'm not nowhere near her success but it does feel good when you get the good comments it does feel good when people enjoy your your videos so i can't imagine at a scale like that getting so many so much praise and so much love from people and I think at the end of the day, you know, I think you guys know that I think more like human. I think that this is such a great thing for Gabby, but I hate the fact that um, she does feel like she's alone. She does feel like she um, like social media and the people on social media give her like validation. You know, I hope and pray that Gabby can have a better relationship with social media just because 
she is a musician, she's a YouTuber, she's an influencer, she's a writer, she's a songwriter, whatever. And really the only way to promote any of that is through social media. So I think that that is a very, very important step that she is taking because without the social media platform, she will not be able to be successful. Although I will, t I will say like, a lot of celebrities they have they don't have social media they have someone who who has the social media on on their phone like for example selena gomez well last time i checked she had a social media manager who basically had all of her socials on one phone selena did not have any of the socials on her phone so like anytime she would want to do a TikTok or instagram post or whatever she would sit with her with her social media manager and they would like work it out. She would film it and that's it. She wouldn't read comments. She wouldn't do any of that. So maybe Gabby can do the same just to film. But I do think that Gabby, the issue is Gabby is not really, I mean, if you ask people, what is, who is Gabby Hanna? They're going to say the girl who has breakdowns or gets into drama with other YouTubers for the most part, right? She's not really known for her music. She's not really taken serious as an artist like she really desperately wants to. So all of those online antics, they have to stop for her to be able to be taken serious or else she will never be taken serious and people will never, ever, ever respect for her for the artist she so desperately wants to be. So taking a break from social media is the best thing she can possibly do. I, I applaud this. I'm 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 happy that she's going to take this time to heal. I mean, being sober and from both of your biggest like addictions, which is weed and social media, this is going to be a very like difficult time for her, but you know, I wish her strength. And I understand a lot of people are like, "Oh my god, you know, blah blah." Like some people even now I was reading some comments like some people don't even wish her well. Like they say like, "Oh, um, here she goes again and then she'll be back tomorrow. Like, I understand that people don't like people like that. I totally understand. But it doesn't take, it doesn't take anything out of it to say, well, I hope the bitch gets help. <laughs> Look how easy that was. And that's sending some good vibes to someone. And that's the same good vibes you will receive later on. And I think it's important to wish well, even to people that you don't think deserve it. Because here's the thing. It's not up to us. It's about up to karma. Who gets help? Who doesn't? Whatever, right? Who gets their blessings? Whatever. All we can do is put out good so we can receive good. That's it. But I hope she does get help because I think she does need to come back. And I do think she has to clear up a lot of things. And, and if she's in the right headspace, I'm pretty sure she can. And then she can be taken serious as the artist she so desperately wants. What do you guys think? Do you believe this um, social media break? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have no idea how grateful and thankful I am for each and every one of you. I cannot wait for the next video. I love you so much and I'll see you guys in my next video.